managed to crawl for the first time yesterday man i saw it um 10th of june five months two weeks there he is <laughs> Dropping hair everywhere. Postpartum hair loss is no joke. Gosh. My friends are actually coming over, so I gotta clean up the house. Oh no. He just threw his toys on the floor. Gonna have a leftover bagel. That I couldn't, I didn't have time to eat either. So I'm going to do half of it since it's almost 12 and it's time for lunch. So let me break it open. Off it goes into the air fryer. Okay, I've got cottage cheese, cherry tomatoes. I'm going to just wash them. And actually, I like to use um, Micah's bottle cleaner to wash. This one from Pigeon is actually really suitable for like fruits and vegetables. So I just put it like this, rub it, rinse it. And because it's made of like food-based um, food based material, it's actually safe. Even if you accidentally leave some residue in the baby's bottle, it's safe for them. A cottage cheese on. And then I'm gonna dice it up. <laughs> Can hear him playing by himself. That's what we are trying to do because he's very formal and very clingy. We are kind of training him to learn to play by himself so that, you know, he gets to learn and we get some sanity <laughs> as well. I'm gonna put some pepper. So pretty. Wow! Nice. Look at what we made. My friend brought her machine and we made it. Chuck with you! Chuck with you! Say hello. It's my new intern, Joelle. And she baked. What is this? Banana cake bread? Banana bread. Oh my god, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> mm. Very nice. Good morning. Okay, so today um, it's Tuesday and it's a very, very, very busy day. I also initially thought I would be able to have lunch with my team today because I haven't officially welcomed like Joel, my new intern, even though we already did a shoot yesterday, but I didn't get to eat lunch with them. And I feel super bad because my date uh, for breakfast is super delayed. So that means I won't be able to make it back in time for lunch with them. So anyway, I wanna try this eyeshadow palette today, Shoot Wim uh, with Peko. It's super cute and the colors are not your the usual colors that I would wear but I'm kind of in a Y2K kind of look today and it's also a prelude to a look that I'm gonna be doing later on. I don't think I'll go with the crazy look today but I'm still gonna try and incorporate some colors. I think that's the, about, that's the thing about me like 
I'm so boring with my eye makeup looks because I'm just a very classic girl, you know? Like, I find it a little bit tough to step out of my comfort zone. And the problem is, I always buy the things thinking that I'll have the confidence to wear it, right? And then I just end, like let it end up sitting in the house like a white elephant until it's out of trend, then yeah. Okay, here's the final look. I guess it's very subtle. You cut off, I go for my breakfast. And we are doing it at Glass House, which is a place that I've been wanting to try. Let's go! Lunch is very, very good. I recommend Glass House to everybody. Um, service was great as well, portions are huge and I don't feel like I'm overpaying which is super rare for a cafe in Singapore nowadays but anyway, tomorrow is Cheryl's last day I realised I didn't really tell you guys about it but I've known this day two months ago already so I have taken time to process it and uh, in fact, from the bottom of my heart I'm very 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 happy for her um, to be mo to be moving on to greater things and it's been a good seven years which is so insane and yeah so right now I'm gonna surprise her by buying her a parting gift um, I'm thinking of Monica Veneta or buy invite only so I'm just gonna head off to Ion to go see before I meet them for a shoot later on I love it so nice now I'm tempted to get it for myself Okay, so I bought Cheryl's favorite cake. And I also don't know why I'm trying to surprise her, but I uh, just surprised her. Guess who wanna buy the cake with me? Michael. Michael. Michael! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Michael wanna buy the cake with me. I say it's for Auntie Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm right now at Asia Medic. Um, it's gonna be my first screening after giving birth. I don't have high hopes, but I will do what I gotta do. So pray for me. Those of you who have been following me for a while, you'll know that blood tests, health screenings, they are nothing new to me because um, I've got several issues with my health and I have been putting it on hold because my doctor told me that um, I should, you know, regardless of whether or not I want to start taking medication for high cholesterol, I should try to get um, babies out of the way if I plan to become a mom and that was what I did, which is why the last health checkup and blood test I did was actually in 2021 um, which still didn't look too good so hopefully now is a good time I'm not sure now that uh, Michael is five and a half months which means my period is not bad yet so it does change things I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna change the results or how um, my body is gonna change but hopefully with pregnancy and childbirth the cholesterol would go down, I'm not sure, but um, 
yeah, so I went to Asia Medic and I got my health screening done. Um, it was actually really, really nice. I did the basic one, so I will get my results in a few weeks, I think. So fingers crossed, pray for me that it will go down. The doctor did say that I am still really young and if I plan to have a second kid, um, she doesn't really recommend me to go for medication. She still wants me to do it through my diet and exercise. Of which I already did tell her that, you know, I've definitely tried the dieting, I've tried the exercising. Um, it didn't move the needle much, but she says maybe after childbirth, things might change. So let's just keep our options open and try whatever we can before we consider the last, last route, which is medication. So yeah, fingers crossed. And now I'm going to go back to the office because today we have a food tasting. And Cheryl is no longer with us, so today is the first day I'm back to the office without her. I hope it doesn't feel too weird. How was your first day without Cheryl? I miss Cheryl. Everyday thing of her. Everyday thing of her. <laughs> okay, now we're going to eat Seafood Paradise. Do you guys know that it's actually their first Paradise Group restaurant? Yeah, I didn't know that. Now we know!